Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So today Battlestate Games have released some information on the test servers that they're going to be bringing online fairly soon, I think, for Escape from Tarkov. Now if you don't know what a test server is, it's basically just another iteration of the game, but this is separate from the main game and they test new content and features on it and you get to go on it and it plays just like the normal game does, but obviously it's not the actual game, you're just testing new features. Now this was being rumoured for quite a while and it was going to be one of these things where it was invite only and it still is invite only but you can register your interest and if you get picked you'll be uh, added into those that can play the test servers. So if you want to know how to get into them you need to update your launcher today. There has been an update to the game today as well to improve some stability issues but at the same time they've updated the launcher. If you look along the top of the launcher you'll see it says ETS, this is early test servers and you can register your interest there. Now now all you need to do is have a copy of the game and that is it. Now it's not to say that you will be picked to play on it even if you do register your interest. I'm assuming that they're only going to allow so many people in to do this. But it is open to any region but they do say that the, the server environments will be limited so depending on the region that you're in you might struggle with uh, latency issues and things like that. So I think it's going to be the more popular regions that will probably be able to use this a little bit better. It's going to be available in all languages there will be wipes on the test server and these will be regular and often obviously it's not going to be uh, the same as the main game where you get maybe one or two wipes a year this will wipe quite often I think that's just to make sure that the environment is running at its optimum and every time they change something within the game they will most likely wipe it and you will start again all of your progress that you make in the test environment will not carry over into your into your main character on the main game it is completely separate from that it is just to test new features and uh, new content. Now one of the things that surprises me is that they do say that anything that is done on the test environment you are basically signing up to an NDA, you can't broadcast it, you can't put it in videos, you can't put it out there what you're actually seeing in these or how it works otherwise your access to the ETS will be revoked if you are found to be doing that. Now that's one of the ones that I find a little bit odd, I would have assumed that and I would assume quite accurately that some of the more prominent uh, YouTubers and streamers will be getting in on this and getting to test some of these things. And they obviously do want you to give your feedback. You will be given feedback forms to fill in and bug reports to fill in when you've played on the test environment. But I would have thought that they'd allowed some of these streamers and people like that to show you some of the things that are coming in the game. I would have assumed that they'd have let some people stream it and broadcast it. That might still be the case. You know, the pestilies and people like that might still get to showcase some of the things that are coming but it does seem like they want the average gamer to not be able to do that so but i could be wrong they might not even let you know the, the highly you know popular streamers do it either so we'll have to wait and see but yeah if you want to join that program it is just go to launch a sign up to it and if you're picked well done so this is something that this game desperately needs it's something that i've been calling for for a long time since i even started playing the game which is some two years ago now it might actually even be longer <laughs> but yeah it definitely needs it things do need testing for those of us that have been around quite a while you do know that every time there's a big update and they push something new into the game it inevitably breaks something in the game and they have to fire out a lot of hot fixes and patches to get it sorted out really quickly this way if it's been tested and it works and it's running smoothly it means that we're going to get better and more stable updates to the main game which can only be a good thing with escape from tarkov it does suffer from the updates sometimes i mean bonus points to the team they do the best that they can and they have a great game on their hands but sometimes it just doesn't go as they want it to but hopefully with the feedback on the test environment and hopefully getting everything to work properly means that we will get a better end product and that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen there has been an update like i said today i think that was just to improve some stability issues within the game there was i'm sure there was a tweet saying that the little things that they was going to fix but i can't find that now so i'm not sure if that's the update that's been put out today whether that tweet was deleted i'm not too sure or whether i was just simply imagining it but there has been quite a big update today the servers were down for two to three hours i think so there's been some issues ironed out there but there aren't any patch notes for this one and that's it folks so it's friday i hope you all have a great weekend don't forget to like share and subscribe as always Ways, stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.